Hi, in this video today we're going to try to fix up this Nespresso U coffee machine. The problems that we were told about is that instead of water and coffee coming out of here, it's just leaking all from this area down here. I turned it on, managed to turn it on once, and certainly it did fill up with water all down here. But then when I went to do it again on camera, now it's not doing anything. So it's plugged in right now, it's not turning on, and this is completely jammed with a capsule in here. So there's certainly at least two issues wrong with this, there might be more. So let's get the camera on the tripod and let's see if we can fix this. So we're taking the water off the back. Of course we're unplugged and take that off the front. Now let's turn this upside down and let's see what we've got. So I can see a couple of Torx bits down here and it looks like Torx 9 fits them and they look like they're a security bit so you need the Torx with the little hole in the bottom. Right and it looks like it pulls apart here but this one was stuck because there's so much lime scale build up on it. There we go. Right, let's see if that takes off the cover. Yes it does. There we go. Well, I can see that there's little clips here and here and also here and here. Let's loosen them off, see if the top comes off. I think I need to take the front off here. There's just a clip here and also one the other side as well. There we go, so that's the front off. And now that lifts off here. Right, I think we've got a problem with this top bit because this doesn't want to slide back even now. And it looks like there's some weird metal thing here. So, it looks like it's clipped in here. There we go, we're free. So that's the circuit board. Now this is going back, but what is this thing here? The reason it's going back now is because this is a little spring. It's completely seized up and it's just come off one of its mounting posts. So if it was still on the mounting post, it still wouldn't work. So I take the spring off and I start cleaning it with some isopropyl alcohol and then it frees itself up. Right, that's much better now. It's nice and smooth. So I'm just gonna pop this back in here and hopefully that will solve the problem of the lid not working properly. Ah, oh, that's so much better. Look at that. Yep. And I can see now it's stretching. That before was completely seized. Right, so that's one thing fixed. I actually think I'm gonna put this back together because we're gonna be looking at the bottom of the machine next. And I was wondering what these little things do and they lock it into place so that you can't push this back now because these are in the way. So they must have to line up with something on the inside. Oh, they line up with these here and when this whole thing moves forward and back via the motor, it moves these to stop you opening this when it's in operation. Okay, that makes sense. I'm not 100% sure where they're gonna be, so I'm just gonna leave that open for the moment and have this so they're moving around the place. But we might have to take it apart again and move these in or out in order to make it operate properly. Right, let's have a look at the bottom. You can see a huge amount of scale build up. And even on the main wires coming in, they're all absolutely caked. And there's lots of scale up here as well, so I'm not exactly sure where the leak is coming from. So it looks like there's a load of scale build up here, so perhaps it's leaking from here and working its way down, or maybe there's a little leak up here and maybe there's a major leak down the bottom because when I turned it on before, it wasn't a drip, the whole map filled with water. So what we're gonna do now is we're actually gonna plug it in. I'm keeping my hands well clear off here. So obviously do not copy what you see in this video. This is just purely for entertainment. So I'm gonna plug it in now. We're gonna physically see if we can see water coming out. Let's turn it, all right, so it's on here. So I'm gonna put it forward and water should now start to come through. Here we go. Right, there we go. It's, at, it's there, it's fly, flying out there. I'm gonna unplug it. Can you look at that there? Yeah, 
Okay, I've unplugged it. So clearly it's leaking from up here and then working its way down to the bottom and it's a very bad leak. Let's take this off here now and let's see if it's lime scale related or maybe we'll see that there's a split in it. So what we have to do is we have to undo these, this U-shaped thing from where you have the, uh, the, the pump here and it goes up to the water heater. Now there is a technique with these. Apparently you can spread them out at the bottom here and then you should be able to take them off. But these ones are being really, really stubborn. So I'm just gonna try to do this one on camera. So I'm putting that there. And then, but I think I'm just gonna end up bending them and trying to bend them back into shape again. So I'm trying to widen up that there and see if it comes off. But I think with all the scale and everything, I don't think I'm gonna have any luck. Right, so that's not wanting to come off. Now I'm gonna try pushing it down from the top, see if it wants to come off then. No, so I don't wanna waste hours on that. So I'm simply gonna bend these straight pull them out the top and then I'm gonna bend them back again to put them back on if we can fix it. There we go. Right, we are now off. And that is it, so we have a little O-ring here. So I wonder, has it just built up with scale or has the O-ring failed? So I'm gonna take the O-ring off. It does feel quite hard, that O-ring. Let's have a little look in here and see if it's possible. So there's no scale on the inside there. It is pretty clean. So I think it might be just the fact that the O-ring has gone hard because it doesn't really feel rubbery anymore. It feels more like plastic. I'm going to see if I've got any little O-rings like that. Now, after much struggling, I have taken off both sides because if one side's rock hard, the other side's going to be rock hard as well. These are the old up the top here, these two and these are replacement ones. You can actually see physically the difference between them. So what's happened is these have shrunk and gone hard as the oils, I suppose, have burnt out of them because it gets incredibly hot in here and they're no longer making a seal in here. So what's happening is, as the pressure builds up there, it's just spurting straight out rather than being forced through. So I'm gonna pop these two on and hopefully that will get rid of the leak. Now you can buy these from places like eBay You can also buy retaining clips from eBay as well. But for me, I'm just gonna be reusing these ones. Okay, so it's certainly not pretty, but the retaining clips are back in. Let's see now if it's still leaking. Here it goes. Oh, there's no water coming out. There is no water coming out and we've got water coming out here. Remember, I haven't got a capsule in it. Excellent, all right, let's see if we can do that again. There you go, water's coming out. And it doesn't appear to be leaking here. So it looks like it's just 40 O-rings. I'm gonna give it a little bit of a clean up down here, get rid of some of the scale and then put it together and let's see if it can make a cup of coffee for us. Okay, we're ready to test it. There, put a small little one in there, put this on the back, plug it in. Is it gonna work? And now that we've put new O-rings in. So let's turn it on. I want a small cup. And put it here. Making the right sounds, come on. Ho oh, ho, here we go. Well, there we go. A nice little shot of coffee. And let's have a look underneath and see if there's anything leaking. No, there is not. So there's no water there, which is good. Excellent. So if yours is spewing out water here, there's a good chance your O-rings have dried up just like this one. Thanks for watching.